Hey, how's it going, fellas? My name is Andy, and before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 30,000 subs. I think I started this channel like three months ago, so man, it's been growing so fast. So yeah, thanks for all the support. You guys are amazing, and let's get to the video. Today, we're going to talk about Caleb Swanigan, a player who just got drafted by the Portland Trailblazers in the first round of the 2017 NBA Draft. We've all heard of the story about NBA star Jimmy Butler. He grew up without a father and his mom kicked him out of the house when he was just a teenager. And he ended up being homeless until another family took him in. For Caleb Swanigan, the situation was much worse. While he did grow up with two parents, his father, Carl Swanigan Sr., was a terrible influence throughout his life. He was a cocaine addict and suffered from obesity problems. Caleb's mother, Tanya, spent most of her life raising six children, including him. This led to a lot of instability within his own household. It was difficult for his father to hold a steady job with his cocaine addiction, and their family in general had money problems. During his childhood, Caleb bounced back and forth between Indiana and Utah, while living in many different housing situations, including some homeless shelters. He said that he lived in 5 different homeless shelters and attended 13 different schools by the age of 13. That's really crazy. It's amazing that he was able to keep up his education and actually graduate high school. On top of all this, Caleb also inherited some bad habits from his father. I mentioned earlier that his father struggled with obesity. He would keep a ton of junk food around the house all the time. Sugary cereals, ice cream, pizza. Pretty much all of the food you'd want to avoid if you were trying to live a healthy life. But because Caleb was surrounded by all of this food and he didn't really know any better, the temptations were just too strong. He developed a huge habit of eating everything. Dessert was his favorite course and on certain days he would eat 3 or 4 courses in a row. His eating problem became so bad that by the time he was 12 years old, he weighed 360 pounds at 6 foot 2. Unfortunately, because of his family's financial situation, the only things that were nearby and available to them were these kind of foods. Caleb said that it's a lot more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat unhealthy. But if you're in a position to eat right, you should eat right. Sometimes, financially, it just isn't right. And Caleb was just a kid, so he didn't know all of the nutritional values of certain foods. Even though he was suffering through all of this during his childhood, his father said he knew he was dragging his family into poverty with his addiction to cocaine and junk food. Yet he continued to do it. At one point, Caleb's father physically assaulted his mother, and that's what caused his mother to move from Indiana to Utah in the first place. Starting this whole journey for Caleb, constantly moving around to different cities. Eventually, Caleb's life would slowly start to turn around. Near the end of 7th grade, his older brother, Carl Jr., called his former AAU basketball coach, Roosevelt Barnes, who's now working as a sports agent. Carl Jr. wanted Caleb to live with Barnes in Indiana for a while, because his life has been falling apart. And Carl Jr. didn't want him to continue moving around with his mom and gaining even more weight. Barnes accepted to take him in as long as he can adopt him. And Caleb's family was fine with that, and that worked out pretty well. He adopted Caleb in the summer before he entered 8th grade. And this was the first time in Caleb's life that he felt secure about his living situation. Barnes would train and work out with him to help him get into better shape to play sports. But most importantly, he fixed Caleb's eating habits. By the time he entered high school in 2011, Caleb was ready to play basketball and he had one goal in mind to help Homestead High School win a state championship. And that's exactly what he did. In Caleb's junior year, he led the school to their first ever state championship. And he was named Indiana's Mr. Basketball, something that he never dreamed could happen. But even through these good times and his life turning around, Caleb was struck with some unfortunate news. In 2013, when he was still a sophomore in high school, his dad has been struggling with diabetes and ended up passing away. And even though his dad never had a great influence on his life, Caleb still appreciated him and dropped by multiple times at his nursery home before his death. With his good grades and taking some extra classes, Caleb was able to graduate high school in 3 years. Additionally, he saw a huge transformation with his body, dropping over 100 pounds in 3 years, and ended up graduating high school with a weight of 260 pounds, which was amazing for him. His weight loss journey was even more impressive than what he did on the basketball court, and Barnes was the person motivating him along the way. 
Around this time, Caleb was getting a ton of scholarship offers from top tier colleges like Kentucky, Duke, Arizona, and Michigan State. But he ultimately decided to stay in Indiana and play for Purdue University, the same school that Barnes played at. And because Purdue had two 7 foot centers already, so that allowed Caleb to play power forward. At Purdue, Caleb actually wore the number 50 on his jersey to honor his late father, which shows that despite what he's been through, he still deeply respects him. He had a great two years in college, being named the Big Ten Player of the Year in 2017, first team All-American, and grabbing both the Pete Newell Big Man Award and the Lute Olsen Award. He made drastic improvements between his first and second years in college, averaging over 18 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 assists per game as a sophomore. His jumper looked a lot better, and that's reflected in his percentages. Caleb also broke a bunch of records at Purdue, which includes total rebounds in a season and total double-doubles in a season. With his excellent two years in college, he eventually got drafted by the Portland Trailblazers this year. And that's pretty much his entire story so far. But it's really cool to see how far he has progressed in his life. Living through that disastrous childhood, being homeless and moving to a dozen different cities, and being 360 pounds at 12 years old, Caleb overcame all of that. To think that this guy would eventually become an NBA player is insane, and his story should be an inspiration to everyone, showing that if they had an opportunity to change their life around, then they should take full advantage of it. Caleb did that and now he's in the NBA, where his story is just beginning. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed that story of Caleb Swanigan. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more in the future.